try to be brief in this um, last part of the presentation. Time really flies. I, I think I could talk about education for a very long time. But so these are two pictures of the Finnish school in the 60s and education today. Finland really has a culture of appreciating teachers. I feel that it that has been declining, but around the 60s, teachers were considered and this was after the war, candles, like the candles of the people, because they kind of brought light to different parts of the country to bring more equity and help students learn. That's why the teachers have been historically appreciated and valued, though there is as well a culture that is changing, um, unfortunately. Teachers work for 38 hours per week. We have weekly school and team meetings and we communicate with guardians in a very well very often so because of this platform that is called the Vilma where guardians can communicate with you and you can communicate like very easily with them and we have as well yearly professional development opportunities and as I said it's a historically a valued profession because of all this input that Finland put in teachers after the war, which was actually, it's one of the reasons as well of why we have a society that is based on equity. Because after the war, there was this input on, we need to improve the education in all the country because like all, all of the children need to like raise out of poverty. And well, that's a whole new chapter that we could talk about at some other point. but. In addition to that, teachers have been uh, studying for five years, very protective as well about their rights. So there's a strong teachers union in Finland. It's, it's the strongest union in Finland. And nowadays, uh, teacher responsibilities are increasing. And one of, well, it'll be interesting to see what happens in, actually in the five, four days, we'll see the next PISA results from the year 2022. But in the last results from 2018, Finland got a concern because the results were getting lower. So Finland was used to being among the first places and nowadays, well, it's still good in reading literacy, financial literacy, if like among OECD countries, but when compared to all participants, Finland, it's still they are still good results, but they have decreased. So it's not like Finland is um, comparing itself to others, but it's more like worried about like what has been going on in Finland that this has been happening. Especially, for example, with reading, there's been a lot of discussion about how children are reading less and less. Senior researcher Arto Ahonen, who is a researcher of PISA, has mentioned 10 different reasons and it, one of them are cuts that when there's cuts to education there are lar larger classrooms less personalized attention there's been increased inequalities um digitalization so a lot of time on screens so both at school but also outside of school and less time reading and especially with the pandemic, we could see this as well affecting some students after coming back to school. I was teaching in a high school last year and it was a very big difference on how to keep the eye contact with some of the students because coming back to this kind of normal life outside of being like behind a screen. So it's taking some time and something that we are reminding ourselves to continue working for quality education is that we need to go back to equity because this is like equity is the the reason of why Finland was uh, going towards such a good direction like quality education taking care of equity not only at school but the different aspects around the school social welfare policies or the aspect of, for example, free libraries, supporting kids to go to libraries, for example, and support reading. So it all goes back to equity. And um, I have 
two more slides just to show you like some resources before we start the Q&A. One is I'm currently working at 100 as a community coordinator and 100 is an organization that it's not focused mainly on Finnish innovations. It talks about innovations from all over the world. There's a lot of innovations that went well from as well from India. And if you want to have a look at some specific innovation from Finland or from any other country, you can go to this website and there is a filter where you can choose the country you're interested in and read about these innovations that might apply or that could be helpful for you. There's as well a filter for, for example, mathematics or arts or different areas that you might be interested in. 